Hey y'all. So here we are again. Last video, I did some redesigns and y'all was really going at it in the comments for who your favorite was. It was like the Millie and Octavia stands were battling it out and the Moxie stands were just there trying to stay alive. <laughs> it was hilarious seeing y'all vote. So following y'all's suggestions, this is my third redesign for Hell of a Boss. And real quick, for those of you who haven't seen the show yet, Hell of a Boss is this animated web series, not really, about this nigga named Osmodius, who is ringly of one of the seven rings of hell. Ozzy is in this relationship with a guy named Fizz, but Fizz is an imp. And in this world, imps are like the second to lowest class. So they gotta keep it on the down low. But they're really, really terrible at hiding it. Cause they're just so in love. And shenanigans ensue. And you know, if they shenan once, then they will shenan again. So for this video, I'ma just go ahead and tell y'all now. These designs are very ambitious, especially the alternate outfit. But y'all can't blame me, okay? These people are the farthest thing from being human. Y'all got me drawing a, a, a sexy blue linebacker and one of them with a frog with a hat. So I had to do what I had to do, okay? Also, these designs are purely head cannons. I'm not fixing anything, just rearranging some parts and mostly reimagining. And following my little trend I've been doing, I'm gonna be changing up their outfits this round too. It really gets the creativity flowing. With that out the way, just know I tried my best. <laughs> So first up, we got Asmodeus. Ozzy for short is one of the seven baddest, I mean ring leaders of hell. He runs the Lust Ring and in his spare time works at this like toy factory. I mean, it looked really cool there. They be having sword fights and painting shit. This guy is just around for a good time. He's currently in a situationship with a jester named Fizzaroli and we gonna get back to Fizzaroli. But his life is pretty great. He's got riches and bitches. What I like about Asmodeus is that he's this big overlord but at home he's actually a really soft attentive guy and it's just so cute to see him interact with fizz like they're the most cozy couple in the entire show osmodeus is giving me pimp in the streets but sweet in the sheets so starting off with his face i went with an expression that looks like he's saying like come here but like in a, in a sexy way i really wanted to capture that i'm gonna take you to bed face <laughs> like I, I don't know how to describe it now the hair was really hard to come up with because osmodeus Modius has this hair where he has his normal hairy face. Then you got two feathers coming out the top of his head. And then this light blue hair in the back. He got three different hair textures going on. And I wasn't about to nerf this man. So I thought it'd fit him more if I just went with a like big fluffy blue scarf. And I added a beard at some point since his face is hairy in the show. And I chose to put his hair in this slicked back suave kind of style. And you know, I had to give him some loose curls to show off the SX appeal. And I decided to keep the top hat that he wears and added just one of his head feathers to it. Now we move on to clothes. <clears throat> so I made his, his tuxedo shirt on open, open chest. Those beautiful eyes. He's just so distracting, y'all. I was in a trance when I drew this. In fact, I didn't actually draw this. The spirit of the anime gods willed my hand to move. <laughs> So for his pants, I went with bell bottoms because they're very old school and disco-y. I wanted something more satirical, like those half human, half goat people. So I went with these like frayed out bottoms and of course some disco shoes to kind of resemble hooves. Like I'm really trying to go for the old school vibe. In his original design, Asmodeus has these like three heads. And at first I didn't know where to fit them in but I decided to add them to the head of his cane. Do I even have to justify why I made him black this time? Have y'all heard this nigga sing? Nah, he ain't sing. He could sing. Best song in the show, it slapped. Y'all can't tell me he ain't black. So I gave him chocolate, cocoa, mocha, brown skin. I wanted to keep the blue theme going cause we don't get a lot of characters outside the usual hell of a boss color scheme. So I stuck with like blues and magentas. Inside his jacket, I did a reverse pinstripe. It's very classy, very sophisticated. And paired that with like tricked out gold jewelry, rings, hoop earrings, necklaces. And I didn't forget to draw the hairy chest. And this is my Asmodeus. I was 
struggling with sketches for this man. But he turned out way better than I had imagined. Sometimes you just gotta trust the process. But I wanna hear how y'all feel about him. Cause I know y'all got some feelings. If you like his Modius out of all of these designs, please leave me the flaming heart emoji in the comment section below. It's all about that journey to pleasure time. You feel me? <laughs> oh. Next up is Queen Beelzebub. The comment section really got me thinking that her name was Kesha B. Beelzebub is a side character in Hell of Oz, but also one of the overlords of Hell. So the same as Osmodeus. And she's basically the embodiment of Glutton. And I ain't gonna lie, when I saw her, I started barking. <laughs> Y'all, she is so freaking cute. She's like if Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie had a kid. We don't know too much about her since she's only appeared in one episode, but we do know she's a party animal, loves to have a good time, and make sure everyone else is having a good time with her. A lot of people are tied on whether she's good or evil. She was kind of set up like she had ulterior motives, like they was giving her the angry eyebrows, and she was kind of the obstacle for one of our main characters. But she never broke bad. So in this design, I'm on the side where she's a sweet baby, does no wrong, and just wants to have a good time. So starting on her design, at first you can see I threw in a head and I started on a body, but I check it out and I start drawing on top of my sketchbook. Sometimes I need all the help I can get with posing. The liquify tool has saved my life time and time again. Bad art advice, oh. learn anatomy. My sketches look nothing like my digital art. Sketchbook me and digital art me are two different niggas. I chose a pose that's a bit eccentric. Like she's saying, hey girl, from across the room. Then I started adding in the smaller details. In her original design, she has a mark on her forehead that's very important because this is actually her third eye when she goes hot demon jackal slash queen bee goddess mode. So I wanted to keep it in there, but to humans, maybe make it look like a tattoo. She also has these cute pink stripes on her ears in her original design. So I translated those into like braids on the side. Then the big part I knew was gonna be a little bit more of a challenge for me is how I'm gonna work the hair. Because in her original design, Half of her hair is like lava or honey. So none of us really know if it's a ponytail or a mohawk. So I went the ponytail route. And I know you probably noticed this, but I did end up making her chubby. One, because she's gluttony thin. So why not? Like, I'm just saying, this would have been the perfect opportunity to have a big girl character. There ain't too many of us around, you know? But that's just my two cents. I centered her outfit on bees and candy, so I opted to work the bee theme into her clothes and gave her these striped sleeves and leggings. I think it really brings that bee side out of her without adding extra limbs or stingers to like her anatomy. And I got her holding like this like martini glass with candy and whipped cream and shit. Then I went with a low cropped leather tank top and briefs. And I knew for the bee theme that I wanted to add those little fluffy pollen puffs bees got. And I changed the placement around a few times, but I settled for puffs on her jacket and put that around her shoulders so that the sleeves look like her extra arms. See what I'm going for? Y'all see the thought process? At first I had her on some boots that later turn into these like converses. And I had to give my girl some heart-shaped glasses. If you wear heart-shaped glasses, like I know you're fun, I know you chill, and that's all I need. So I turned her like lava lamp body into a tattoo because contrary to popular belief, humans are not equipped with lava lamp bodies. I kept the hairpiece crown that she has, but just moved it near the back. Now B has like five colors in her hair. I can see the perspective where some people say that the blue is out of place, but I'm actually okay with the blue. It gets all the attention from the warmer colors going on. And I didn't want to stray too far from the original, I say, as I then proceed to change everything about the character. <laughs> so I went with yellow and pinkish brown stripes, you know, classic B shit. Over to the right, I draw what I think she would look like in the Hell of a Boss art style. And I couldn't fit her on the top right angle I usually put them in. So I got her to the bottom right this time around. And that is my version of Beelzebub. This design is so, so, so adorable. Don't you wanna just hug her? Come on. Does she scream? Queen B, make me some honey. If you love this design, please leave me the B emoji down below. Nice to meet you, bitch. I hope this itty bitty get together can serve as a fun first time. And for our final character of the hour, Zeroli. 
He works as this kind of jester slash entertainer who reoccurs sporadically throughout the show. He's this chaotic bundle of joy. I never thought jesters had SX appeal until now. Nah, I ain't gonna say that. His soccer had me. Fizzaroli also happens to be our main character's ex-best friend. Him and Blitz split up at some point in their lives, and now every time they walk up on each other, they just start throwing hands. Like, it's on sight every time. When he's not around Blitz, though, he's pretty chill. Another key point to this character is that he's got these robotic limb enhancements. I just really like his personality. Cause you get to see his sweet, goofy cinnamon roll side, but he's also just messy and evil. Like he talks shit, but he can't back it up. And I know I'm rambling, but he's one of my favorites, okay? And I thought it was gonna be a piece of cake to reimagine him as a human, but this was the hardest one so far. First off, you already know I'm struggling when I pull out the sketchbook. So at first I just trace over my idea sketch for Fizz. I really leaned into the whole court jester thing. He looks like a little jolly boy who wants candy. Don't worry. I'ma fix it. Instead of his normal like jester hat, I wanted to switch it up. So I got him on this more courtly jester hat. I know his hat is basically his old horn shape, but I wanted to try out a different shape just to see how the fit is fitting. For this design, I really wanted to go with stars and bells as a theme. Stars because Fizz is famous. We see him being a show off even when he's not trying to be. He just can't help it. He was meant to be in the spotlight. And the bells because jester. I got him on this crop top with a giant bell front and center. Uh. Then I paired that with like these puff sleeves and used bells as the cuffs. Now a character trait that I couldn't leave out was his prosthetic arms. I just went with a more human like approach to him. Going for something modern but like in a futuristic way. The joints and rivets I had to go through but I knew I wasn't gonna cover up his arms after all that hard work. So I made the sleeves transparent. Like I wanted it to be known that his arms were actually prosthetic and it's not something he ashamed of. In fact, it's very eye-catching, which I think fits perfect with his whole personality. I got him on some mismatched leggings. I wanted to play around with asymmetry, like it's perfectly imperfect. Going down the legs, I just threw him on some sturdy boots with a giant ass bell on top, pink diamond style. I got him on a leotard instead of the shorts I drew. And I really, really wanted to keep the shorts. I mean, I got a soft spot for a nigga with shorts and leggings on. Then I go back up to the hair. So y'all see how at first I gave this man some hair, but at this point I decided to remove it because there was no anything that even gave me the hint that he had hair. This man is bald headed. I'm pretty sure he was born bald, so I couldn't justify giving him hair. If you out there and you bald, this one for you. So for the colors, I went with this pink magenta light blue theme and went really heavy with the gold accents. And of course, I gave him the iconic clown nose paint. I changed his black lip corner marks and made them pink and blue respectively and placed them right outside of that area just to space everything out. Then I split his hat color down the middle. I was gonna leave one side plain to keep with that a symmetry thing I was going for, but I said fuck it and strike both sides. And I go in with these colors all throughout his design, making it as extra as possible. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it, I threw him on some earrings, and this is my Fizzarali as a human. I ain't gonna lie, I would scream if I saw him, <laughs> if I saw him in real life. But for hell standards, I think he's beautiful. But what say you? Is this how you think he would look as a human? If you like him the most from these designs, please leave me the clown emoji down in the comments section below. I would have craving burgers. Burger time, burger time, burger time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Y'all have been so supportive and I love y'all. We just hit 50K subs. It's like 58K right now. I don't know what's going on. I'm blowing up for some reason. And I want to do something special with y'all. Let me know what y'all want. We gonna celebrate somehow. I'll make a post on this page about it later. But as always, I want to thank my Patreon, Josh is Nervous, and my future patrons who support me in making videos like this. A huge shout out to my editor, Pink. Link to their channel in the description. Don't forget to vote y'all's favorite in the comments. I need to know, I just need to know. And I'm so excited to do something with y'all. Okay, that's it. I'll see y'all next time.